Hello fellow orchid lovers. Just a quick video uh, to update you on how my orchids are doing, specifically the two that were close to blooming the last time I checked in with you, um, and then some of my dendrobiums and my rhancostylus, who is also in spike. So as you can see, uh, my Wilsonara is now in full bloom. All of the blooms are finally open. Really pretty as these blooms are opening. Uh, the lip is like a really bright yellow, kind of like right there um, in the top of the lip. The whole entire white part is like that bright yellow color. And then as the bloom matures, it fades out to white. But between these two orchids, the fragrance is just amazing. They both smell really, really good. And there's quite a number of blooms on both. So anytime you go anywhere near um, the two of these, you get this beautiful scent. So she's been in bloom for a couple of weeks now. Um, no signs of fading yet, so I'm hoping she's going to last for a while. Really magnificent spike there. Um, and then the other one is my wild cat. Uh, slightly smaller spike than my other wild cat but this is the first time bloom for me on this plant. So I'm very happy to get any flowers at all. And they're really, really pretty. I know it's not showing up in the video, but that white lip has like a flush of pink and it's just beautiful. And these are fragrant as well. So very happy with that. I wanted to share with you how um, two of my dendrobiums are doing. Um, this is my dendrobium unicum. This is the one that um, is a true winter rester. And uh, I was able to get her to bloom last year. Uh, Jet, be quiet, please. I'm filming. Um, and looks like she's going to bloom again this year. So pretty much every joint, there's some type of bulge. Some are more um, progressed than others. But as you go down the canes she grew last year there's um sign there's evidence that you know she's gonna bloom in a couple spots at the very least so she's doing good she is on schedule to bloom as she did last year so i'm excited about that um she, and again she's one of the winter resting dendrobiums so all throughout the week she doesn't have any water and then when i water all the other orchids she gets a quick drink uh with no fertilizer just water just so that her um, old canes don't get uh, desiccate too much um, and she runs out of nutrients to produce the blooms. So that's her. Now this one, this is the dendrobium, I believe it's polar fire. Um, and I had showed you, I think I showed you in my last video that she was getting little bumps that I thought might be blooms, but as you can see, it looks like they're gonna be cakeys. So it looks like, this section, there's two sections of the plant. This section of the plant, all the leaves turned yellow and dropped off. And um, this is my first, you know, season with this particular orchid. So I wasn't sure if that was typical um, or if the plant was in trouble. And then she started putting out cakeys. So I don't know that this plant has um, the ability to regenerate from the base. And that might be why um, she's putting out cakeys from the top. So we'll just watch them bloom. And when they're mature enough, we'll separate them from the canes and get them their own little vase to live in. So that's the that one. Now I'm going to try to pan over as gently as possible so I don't make any of you dizzy. Um, I wanted to update you on how my Latorias are doing. So this is my Latoria microchip, and as you can see, she has bloomed. Um, just two of her blooms have popped open at this point. But these blooms pack a powerful punch. They are very fragrant. You don't have to be very close to her to get a whiff. And she's only got two blooms open so far. And as you can see, I mean, there are a number of spikes to come. So I have a feeling she is going to keep this particular corner of my kitchen um, smelling very nice. It's kind of like a, like a peppery sweetness. It's a spicy sweetness. Um, but I really enjoy it. I love, love, love the spots on the back of her blooms and then you know how creamy and white she is on the inside really cute little flower 
Uh, my Nora Takanaga, she's about to bloom. She's got quite a few blooms coming, as you can see. Um, she's got another spike back there. So two, four, six, eight blooms, it looks like we're going to get on her. She grew three new growths over the summer, and she has another new growth coming this winter. So my Latorias, I find they just never stop. They're always growing, whether it's a new growth, new roots, flowers. Um, my microchip is also growing a new growth. I got to find it. Where did it go? There it is. So as you can see, she's also growing actually two new growths. Uh, so she's an overachiever <laughs> as well. Uh, my favorite one, my Atrovialaceum. Uh, she put out two new growths uh, over the winter and she's getting just one spike. Last season, she gave me seven. So slightly less <laughs> than last year, but um, it's okay. You know, she did quite a show last year. So if she needs to regenerate this year so she can give me another good show, you know, every other year, I'm cool with that. Uh, so I'm excited to see her blooms. They are my favorite Latoria blooms. So we'll keep you tuned for that. It's got a little ways to go. As you can see, the spike is pretty small. Um, this one is green apples. Um, this one, I don't know. She's, she's kind of wah, she's not really doing too much. Um, you know, she's got a new growth down there. You can see it at the base of the largest pseudobulb. Um, but she's really, really kind of sluggish as far as anything is concerned. It does look like she might be thinking about blooming on this nub. Let me see if I can, there you go. It kind of split and you can see some green. I know there's a lot of backlighting, so you probably can't see that, but the sheath over the little nub split and you can see green. So maybe she's thinking about blooming, but we'll see how she does. I really think her roots are not that great. So I think that she's got to kind of concentrate on a new growth so she can get some new roots and maybe then she'll do better. Um, my Ranko Stylus Gigantia. Look at the spike. So I shared this spike with you, I think, two weeks ago. And um, they were teeny tiny. The little little blooms, little buds were so, so small. And as you can see, they're starting to get their spots. This is the white one with pink spots. So it's pretty cool. Um, this particular orchid is very fragrant, but it's not a fragrance I really love. It kind of smells like a cleaning product. <laughs> Uh, not no particular clean, cleaning product in mind, but it does smell kind of, um, you know, chemically to me. So I don't love the fragrance, but the blooms are spectacular. And so I keep her around. I have another uh, Ranko Stylus Gigantia, the red one. Um, she did not decide to give me a spike yet this year, so I may not see flowers are on her this year. But we did get them on, on this one, so pretty thrilled about that. Now, I know a lot of you know that I am planning on moving. My husband and I, um, we kind of actually unexpectedly found something before we intended to. We weren't really going to be putting in offers until the spring. But um, just after Christmas, uh, my husband and I saw a house that we just kind of fell in love with. We put in an offer. The offer was accepted. We are in contract. <laughs> it all happened so quickly, just a few weeks. So um, I am going to try to stay in touch with you guys, but I'm going to be doing a lot of packing. The house needs a little bit of work and it's like four hours away from here. So it's going to be, you know, swallowing up a lot of our weekends once we go to closing. So again, I'm going to try to keep in touch with you guys and like give you updates as things start to bloom. And, you know, if I can think of any subjects I think might be interesting to you. But if you don't hear from me for a couple of weeks, I'm going to apologize in advance just because I know my life is going to get pretty hectic. Um, and one of the things that I did when my husband and I decided to move, uh, this is actually uh, from my For Cynthia bush. I have a really, really big one in my backyard. When we moved into this house 15 years ago, my father gave me a little cutting and I planted it and it went wild and takes up like this huge patch of my backyard. I wonder if I could even show you. No, probably not. Okay. Cause it's around the corner. Um, but you know, it, it's special to me cause it's something my dad gave me when we moved in. And so I kind of feel bad leaving it behind. So I went outside and I took some cuttings of the for Cynthia and she started to bloom as you can see um, she's got some branches that she's developing and she also developed some roots 
So um, it's been a little cold outside. So I haven't really gone outside uh, to grab any dirt, but I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna get a little pot with some dirt in it and I'm gonna plant her. So hopefully, you know, a little portion of the original plant that my dad gave me can live on where we're moving. So anyways, like I said, I'm gonna try to keep in touch with you guys. Um, I don't know how difficult that's gonna be. I did pick up a lot of hours at my current job at the hospital, because um, as I'm sure many of you know, there's a lot of expenses that come with uh, purchasing a house, closing on the house, you know, repairs that need to be done. So I'm trying to get a little ahead of the expenses that we're going to be encountering. Um, so I am going to be working full time and then we're going to be working on the house and making trips up there. So, you know, if you don't hear from me, like I said, I didn't disappear. I just have a lot going on and I will try to just do little pop up spotlight videos if I can. So I hope you guys are all enjoying uh, your winter. I know not many people enjoy the winter, but I do. I like the cooler weather. Um, and I hope that you're all looking forward to spring as much as I am. A lot of my plants are starting new growths, new leaves, uh, so they're getting ready. So there's going to be a lot to show you in a couple of months. And uh, I hope you're all doing well, and I will talk to you all next time.